Look y'all, fume extraction isn't exactly that crazy, but it is extremely important for one's health. Today we're gonna to talk about fume extraction and how it could be cheaper than your hospital bill. Now you guys always give me a lot of guff in the comment section about when I'm not wearing the proper PPE or there's some ventilation that needs to be done. I got a small shop and a small operation and I, I do tend to get complacent. It prompted me to dig into a little bit of research about what's in the actual fume plume. You all know what the plume is. It's the cloud of smoke that comes up around you whenever you start welding. What is in that smoke? You're burning metal, right? So you should probably assume that there's burnt metal flying in the air. So oxides like iron, aluminum, magnesium, and titanium dioxides are all floating in the air as you burn steel. The alloys that are in it are being produced and they're floating around you. Depending on what you're welding, it could get a little bit more severe. You might be welding something with like scalvinized with zinc, or maybe there's more manganese in the steel, or maybe you're welding stainless and you have hexavalent chromium. Same thing with carbon dioxide, monoxide, and the phosgene gases. You breathe all these things in, and all you're left with is a lot of issues like asthma, fume fever, skin and eye irritation. If you've dealt with fume fever, it's no fun, sick to your stomach, throwing up, headaches, or the long-term effects that I haven't quite got there yet and I need to keep an eye on them. Damage to the lung and respiratory system, Parkinson's, damage to the nervous system, pulmonary disease, I don't even know what that is. And all forms of cancer come from this plume of fume that we do not need to breathe. So today we're gonna to go over a couple options depending on the scale of your operation, whether you're in a small shop or you're scaling up to bigger shops or even to a large welding school or a big operation. Now we're all aware of a PAPR, right? One you wear on your head, you got a backpack or a belt, some sort of system that blows fresh air in. You also have the other options of using an external fume extractor. I personally would prefer something along this lines. It's more of a personal preference and comfort thing. This FEX Pro from Abacor Benzel might be a solution for you. A one and done solution everything's built in right to the torch believe it or not that's where it's going to do all the sucking right at the head of the torch it's going to keep all those fumes from getting to my face so i don't have to breathe in any of those bad alloys from the metals that are being burnt off not only that but it sucks it away without getting any prosy because that's a big deal now the hose on the back side is a little bit heavier than i like luckily for us the ergonomic torch handle does keep everything pretty comfortable you're going to have some concessions and some things you're going to have to give up as far as comfort but you're also going to be a lot safer the fex pro is probably better for a small operation like mine you guys seen it in my personal shop this would be something that i would choose as a solution almost touching 3k for the total price point but again it's a one and done kind of machine and it does cost a lot less than a pretty hefty hospital bill. Not only do they have the MIG accessory, but Avacor Benzel also got you hooked up with a TIG torch that hooks up to the exact same model so that you can be making sure that when you're welding something like stainless steel, those hexavalent chromiums get sucked right up. One other thing is you can pop off the hose off the actual MIG gun and you can run this as an external hose to kind of move it around your shop. You might have to rig it up just for your personal applications, but no matter if you're stick or TIG welding, this could still be your solution. Now, if you want to scale up to something a little bit bigger because your shop and your needs are getting a little bit bigger, that's when the price and the size and the performance goes up. Now, if you're starting to scale up from maybe a side business or a side hustle to your own full-time job, and now you're starting to hire more employees, production's coming up, you're probably going to need to step up your fume extraction game. The X-Fume Advance is going to be basically what we just showed you, except twice as big, twice as powerful, twice as much suck. For example, you could have two welders now running off the same fume extraction and have the same amount of power as if you just had the one for each. Or maybe you want to try to diversify a little bit, get yourself a cobot. You could have a cobot running in one bay, and then you might have a welder in the other bay tacking the parts and then moving it over to the cobot and welding things up again production's going up but you're keeping all that nasty carcinogenic smoke up and out of the air and right into these old hepa filters now we've only used this ibot one for a few welds made a couple circles with some spray mig and if you look in the dust tray right down here you can see just what you're breathing in those are all those oxides that we were talking about that right there it is nasty. You wanna know why your boogers are black? That's cause well, that's what you're breathing in. Don't want any of that in the air and that's why this fume extraction is so important. Things get a little bit bigger than this. Now they even have other fume extractors that have the long trunks on them that even kind of push around almost like a refrigerator on wheels. It gets even bigger than that. Maybe you have a huge welding shop with a bunch of welders in different bays or you have a bunch of welding booths and a big welding school that you've got to keep all the smoke out of. If you get bigger things, you got a bigger operation, you're going to have to go bigger. The Industra Fume is aptly named because this is an industrial size fume extractor. Overhead ventilation in almost every bay. It's the best way to keep multiple welders safe from these very harmful fumes. As an individual, you can do your best to try to stay away from the plume of smoke that you don't want to be breathing. 
but we really need to rely on the people that are employing the welders to make sure that we're safe. As far as welding schools teaching this fume extraction and teaching the safety behind the fumes that we're breathing as welders so that we can make those good habits early on as those students are progressing through their careers. I hope you guys found a lot of value in this episode. I know it's not extremely exciting as far as fumes go, but it's our responsibility to teach it. We'll see you guys in the next weld. As you know, if you get bigger things, you got a bigger operation, you're going to have to go bigger. All right, this thing is the most sucking thing that you can get.